you might have been posting content here on YouTube and you are not getting the right engagement that you would have wished for. And these are content that are quality and valuable. These are things that you took your time to create and these are things that you are very sure of the value you put into the video. But you are not getting views or maybe you are getting either no views or low views. In this video, I am going to be putting you through some things you never took note of that might one way or the other be affecting your videos. And this way it might be affecting you from getting the proper and the right engagement that your videos is meant to get. Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Okulola Anna and today I'm going to be explaining to you the things you can be doing to get more views on your YouTube channel. The beauty of creating content is when you get engagement, it is always suiting and it has a way of encouraging you to do more. So in this video, I am going to be teaching you and explaining to you some things that you might not have not been doing well or doing in the right way that might have been affecting your views. These are things that me too, I wasn't aware of, but when I started putting more notice to it and I started taking note of those things and I started practicing them, they started working for me. Without further ado, let us get started. The first thing that can be the reason why you are not getting no views or low views on your YouTube channel is because you are publishing your video immediately. You might be surprised that uh, is there a need for you not to publish your video immediately. Yes, you will publish your video, but you have to publish your video in the right way. Why do I say this? One thing about YouTube is that they love it when you create an awareness about your video. And YouTube by itself, will want, they don't want it to look like you are, you, they, they don't want you to make them feel like you can do it on, on your own. In the sense that they want it to be that they are the one that will help you to push that video. For example, when you have it in mind to upload your video, do not post it immediately. Do not publish it immediately. I have a video, I have a video that explains the right way to upload a video. So in that point, I'm going to be putting it on the screen. There is an option whereby it will suggest you that do you want to schedule your video. Had it been you notice in your YouTube dashboard that your algorithm works around, like most of your viewers are around, they are online around 12 p.m. in the mid, in the day. So, and you have it in mind to post your video, to upload your video around maybe 10, 10 a.m. in the morning. And you know, it is 10 p.m., most 12, um, 12 noon that most of your view, viewers are always online. You will Type it, you can schedule it. There's an option where you can put in the time that YouTube will drop that video. It would have actually uploaded on your site, but it wouldn't publish yet. So during that time that you are trying to pop, that you've uploaded the video and to this time you scheduled for it to publish, YouTube can help you to push it out as it creates an awareness. It would have helped you to gather the right viewers. So by the time the video is published, it, you, it will just target the right viewer. And this is also you giving YouTube enough time to try to check what your content is about and to know the right people that will need to check that kind of video. So it's not just about you are just po po posting the video because when you are just uploading your video to make YouTube look like they will feel like uh, you can do it on your own. But when you give them time to check the kind of content you wish to upload and you've done the right, the proper, you've already followed the proper ways of uploading that video. By the time you give it a time share doom, Maybe, for example, there are some people that you, you can you might have seen it on people's channel that they'll tell you they post on, maybe they post every 10 p.m. in the night. What works well for me is posting in the midnight from between 12 a.m. and 6 a.m. So all I need to do is to schedule my upload. Even if I am uploading around 10 p.m. in the night, I am not going to allow you to, I will tell you to, to schedule it for me that the time it will drop for people to view it is between 12 a.m. or 6 a.m. So during that moment that I, I, I have uploaded the video but it's not published yet for, the, for everyone to see it, YouTube is helping me to push the algorithm for the right viewers to watch it. Also, the only reason why this thing can work is if you upload your video right. You will never see a, a time scheduling when you're trying to upload your video on your YouTube app. All those options that will make you to see all these things I'm explaining is not on your YouTube app. So if you are someone that you are the kind of person that upload videos through your YouTube app, all these things might not show there. So I have a video, a very detailed video on how to upload the right way. So when you watch that video, you are going to understand all these things I'm saying. For those who are finding it strange that what is scheduling 
um, upload or how to schedule upload. So how to upload, I have that video on the proper way for you to upload your YouTube video. So when you watch that video, you are going to get all the details you need about that. So the second one is that make sure your YouTube channel is verified. Most people always try to skip through this process, but it is very important. Verification has their own importance. One thing you should understand about YouTube is that if something is not important, they will not put that option on their dashboard. So you have to verify your YouTube channel. And how will you do that? You are going to verify using a phone number. I have a very detailed video on how to verify your YouTube channel. This way, you'll be able to use custom thumbnail. Custom thumbnail is all those images to see your most people videos. That image that is always catchy. That image that makes you to have an idea of what the video is about. That's the first thing. And it also allow you to be able to post longer videos. And also it also allow you to be able to do live streaming. But that's not just the only reason. The reason why you verify your phone number is because YouTube will be able to know that you are not a robot. Or you are not a bot. Like the account is not a bot channel. That it is a human being that is operating that channel. That's the reason why you have to verify your phone number. All these things are one of the things that can that we determine if they are going to get the right views or not. If you do not do all these things, you can your 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 video can be a, a little bit backward or stagnant. So please take note of all these things and remember, if you do not know how to verify your YouTube channel, I have a very detailed video on it. I am going to drop it up here so you can click on it and watch how to verify your YouTube channel. So the third one is you uploading the right way. This almost have the same thing to do with the first one I've mentioned earlier. Uploading the right way. One thing is that the mistake most people make is that they upload videos through their YouTube app. You know that plus sign that you click on when you want to upload your videos. But the funny thing about it is that there are some features, there are some options you need to fill when you're trying to upload every video. I don't know how it happened, but YouTube application, as in the real YouTube app does not have all those options. You need to add you like there's another means you need to use in accessing those options so that your video will have all the right details. You know, I understand the feeling that you've taken your time to edit a video, create content, edit it, and you've pumped a lot of effort. But when you don't pump that same effort you pump into the video when you were creating the video and doing the editing, you still need to pump that kind of energy back when you are trying to upload your video. So if you are still uploading your video through the YouTube app, I'm very sorry you might not get the right views. You can be lucky enough to get some kind of views. But when you upload through this means I am talking about, you will get the right views. So I'm still going to drop it here. All those things are already there. You will see everything. There's a lot of things, a lot of details that you, lose, you will not have even think about. And you'll be surprised that the YouTube app does not have it. So I'm going to drop a link on how to do that. Either thing, the third thing that can also cause you to be having low views on your YouTube channel is when you are posting videos with watermark one thing you notice about social media is that every social media app they want their thing to be unique they love doing their thing in their own way in their own unique way same thing applies to youtube if you are bringing a video from tiktok and you do not remove the tiktok watermark as in there's this thing watermark is that logo you see about something about a company or um or, or a social media app you will notice something that is trend that tiktok when you post on tiktok there's this watermark that reflects that to be scrolling up and down. When you post videos like that on your YouTube channel, YouTube does not like things like that. When you post something with watermark on your YouTube channel, your video is likely not to, is likely to have very low engagement. Same thing applies to um, other social media apps like Facebook and the likes. What just matters is there are applications in which you can use in removing watermark. Because on Google Chrome, you can just type remove watermark from this video. Then there's an option. Naturally, it will remove. Just type it. They will suggest websites that help in removing watermark from a video before you can upload it. And also, one of those things that also affects you from getting the right view is when the moment, let me just put it this way, the moment you create a YouTube account, immediately you've converted it to a YouTube channel and immediately you've started posting. They will believe you are a robot. YouTube will just believe that the person that could, could quickly do all these processes, they are robots. The person is a robot. So it's always advisable that give it some time, maybe like a week after you've opened your YouTube account, before you convert to a YouTube channel, then after that you can start posting. Another thing that can also affect you from getting the right view is when you do not create the right content. 
Yes, anything can be as a content, but when you do not edit your content properly, your viewers should not be the one that will be seeing errors in your videos. Always rewatch your videos. I'm this kind of person that I watch my videos like four or five times after editing. I watch it as in before uploading. Always watch your videos before uploading. Before you upload your videos to your YouTube channel, always make sure you take your time to watch it. Watch it, see yourself as the audience. Look at the, the content and be like, and ask yourself that if you are an, you are the audience, you are the viewer, will you be interested in this kind of video? When you ask yourself all these questions, it will help you to take your time to create a valuable content. Create content that gives value. Is it vlogs? Is it educational video? Is it anything? Make sure that it gives value. There are some vlogs that when you watch it, you learn something from the person. You learn something from the way, or maybe the person's way of talking or approach to life. Same thing with when you create video content that teaches people on how to do something. When they watch it and they get value, trust me, the people, they always want to come back again and again. And they will even love to share to people to benefit from it also. So always create valuable content. Don't just make videos for the sake of making videos. When I mean valuable content, it's not just about a, a good camera or this thing. You can always wipe the lens of your phone camera. If you do not have a tripod, look for something to place your phone on. Set it well. Look for a well presentable background. You do not have to break the bank. Like now, I am making use of my curtain, my door curtain. But what I make sure I, may, I do is that it is okay. At least it is presentable. And even if you do not have all those things, there are now means in which you can create fake backgrounds that will still be nice and it will still come out well. I see some people that do that. What just matters is that in everything that you are doing, make sure that your content it, it is worthy of your viewers' time. Are you teaching them to do something? Be as in share the details in a way that they will have every reason to want to come back. I've seen few people that have told me that they are not really interested in fashion designing, but the way I taught them on my channel made them to to start picking interest in fashion designing. It's even somewhere even like they will, they will keep start trying it from home. When your content is valuable, your video content gives value. People always have any, um, the reason to come back. And there are even some people that they will want to watch your video on and on and on and on. And this alone will make YouTube to want to push your video out there for people to watch. So with these few points of mind that I've shared, these are things that can help you to boost your YouTube algorithm in the sense that it will help your video to get the right engagement, the right viewers, and take you from level of zero views, 50 views, three views, to thousands of views so if you learned something from my video please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell to get more videos like this these are things that will work for all kinds of youtube channel not just channels that um, discuss on engagement and um, youtube growth this will work for every every kind of channel be it vlog be it um, fashion designing be it anything anything any kind of channel that you are building all these tips I'm sharing are things that can help to boost your YouTube algorithm and help your YouTube channel to grow faster. So, see you in my next video. Thank you.